All right, it's uh, Jamie here, and I'm just going to show you guys around the 2002 Touring and uh, explain why it's going a little bit slow and why there's not a whole lot of stuff going on right now. Now, we're very short of components. I do have a lot of components here, which I've sifted through to try and find the ones that can go in and on the car. Um, and a lot of them cannot be at this time, and I'll show you exactly the reasoning behind that. Now, starting at the back of the car, we've got the rear bumper. Uh, we're gonna get some bumper bolts, some proper chrome bumper bolts to go on here. Uh, now I need access to the inside of the bumper to put the nuts on the underside of the bolts, and so uh, because of that, I haven't secured the bumper fully yet. We've got the rear license plate lights, they're not available through BMW and Mark's had to source those from God knows where. They've, they've been one of the hardest things to source for this. Uh, I think he's finally got a lead on some, but we'll uh, confirm that later. So um, yeah, the bumper still has to come off to run the wiring for these as well. So bumper can't be properly secured yet. Um, license plate obviously isn't here, and so that's not on. Uh, we've got these lights, I've, I've put these lights in temporarily, but the chrome on these lights is very, very bad. I've buffed them up as best as, can, as they can be, but um, they may either have to come off to get retreated. Uh, that's, the last, that's the last plan, that's plan B. Uh, plan A is to find some replacement chrome surrounds for these. We've got the rear catch here, which is broken. It is fixed, it's working-ish, but uh, you know, there's a good portion of that missing, so that needs to be sourced from somewhere. We haven't managed to find one yet. Um, going to the inside of the car now, the tank, the fuel tank is missing. The fuel tank, we're still trying to source a fuel tank, BMW don't have one. Worst case scenario is I have to repair the tank that came out, but it's full of rust, it's full of holes, the metal's really thin, it's really not in good condition at all, so that would be a lot of work to fix that. I'd rather just replace it if there is a replacement. Uh, going to the fuel filler. Uh, we have the rubber um, neck that leads to the pipe which leads to the tank. Uh, we have the, uh, the metal interior that the cap screws into, but we don't have the, the circular metal surround. So that also has to be sourced. BMW don't have one. Um, so that's that. Uh, of course, we're not <clears throat> we, I haven't done all the wiring yet. There's a lot of... Um, things to go in the interior to run the wiring loom properly before I can secure that. Um, I've basically just got the, uh, the ends of the loom roughly in place, but you know, some of these connections are the, uh, the, the float for the fuel tank and uh, the rear lights, and obviously without the fuel tank in and things, I can't wire those up yet. Uh, the rear quarter panel uh, covers, uh, they have to be made, manufactured. We can't order these, there are none available. So they're gonna have to be manufactured, handmade, once the car is roadworthy and it can go to the interior shop to get those done. Um, and it's the same with the, uh, the these panels that go in here. You've got the old ones in there, but they're really destroyed. They've been patched up very badly. They're too short, wrong shape, all of that stuff. So um, yeah, that's a problem as well. Um, let's see, going to the inside of the car here. Uh, the seats are away, they are in the interior shop. They are gonna get um, recovered, as well as the rear bench seats. So they're, they're already at the interior shop and they're being worked on. I've started to put the doors together and I have to sort of stop at this point. We need uh, new felts to go in the runners for the rear window, so I can't put the windows in until we've got those felts and the new rubbers. Uh, so that's kind of held up right now, and um, there's not a lot that can be done there. I've got the dash roughly in place. Um, now the glove box isn't in great condition. Um, probably just gonna have to tidy that up a bit and, and that go back in at some point, but that's uh, just four screws, or three screws rather, to get that in. Um, that's a very small job. And I can't do much else under the dash because the heater matrix component, we have to order the, both heater matrixes for two, both the 2002s are uh, 
very much broken. The, the plastic surrounds and things are no good. They're all cracked, split. Uh, they're not going to hold in place and they're not going to seal properly, so that's that. Um, the steering column will go in later after the engine has been put in. I'm just afraid that that's going to be a hindrance because it runs through the firewall and into the engine compartment. Um, it will come out down here and I don't want that to be in the way when the engine finally goes back in the car. Uh, the engine can't go back together. I'll just walk you over here. The engine can't go back together yet because we're still waiting for some um, bearings to be made for this engine. Uh, the bearings that were supplied to us don't fit, so uh, Mark's in touch with Island Engineering about those to try and get a set made up so I can assemble the rest of this engine. It's still on the bench and uh, these are the main bearings. So unless I can get this bottom end together, I really can't start rebuilding that. We've got the gearbox which is not going to be stripped. The gearbox is going to go back in the car and we're going to try it as well as the final drive. Um, I can't put the final drive in until the rear subframe is back together and there's no point in doing that because I don't have the rear dampers for the car yet. They're on order as well. So we're waiting for those. Uh, so we've got nothing under here at the minute until I can get that rear suspension in. Um, as I said, there's no point in going any further with the dash. These heater controls and things will all link to the heater matrix and that's no good. So we're kind of, I'm kind of stuck there. Uh, there are some little tidbits and things. The pedal box I'm going to be working on soon with Mark. Um, it's not going to take an awful long time, but I've got a load of components over here that need to be cleaned up before reassembly. Again, like these are the suspension dampers. These have to be changed. So I'll, I'm keeping them as one component at the moment until we get the new dampers. I don't want to disassemble too many things and have bits lying around in case they get lost. Disassembling and reassembling these things isn't a big job, but uh, I need those dampers before I can do that. Um, this is the uh, front subframe, which I did some work on. I've posted pictures of that a while ago. Uh, this just has to be... Uh, re-welded, short job, and then strip all this crappy paint off and repaint these before they go back in. That's like a two or three day job. That's not a an enormous thing. Um, same with the rear drums. We're trying to find replacements for these. Haven't found any new drums. These are very, very tatty, uh, heavily pitted with rust. Plan B, last plan of action is to reuse these, just clean them up a little bit and put them back on. Um, as well as the rear backing plates and things. But we're trying to find uh, new components. So that's the pedal box that's going to be cleaned up and reassembled at some point. Um, the rear drive shafts, I've had these reconditioned. I've had the boots replaced. So all I've got to do here is clean them up a little bit before they go back on the car. They're ready. So parts that can be done have been done, uh, but for a couple of bits. Um, the front suspension arms, I'm not cleaning that, cleaning them up. These are heavily damaged, gouged. Uh, the bushes are no good. We'll have new bushes and new arms coming at some point. Um, still on order. Uh, we, <clears throat> I've got the front and the rear windscreens to go in at some point. There's no point in putting them in just yet because if I put this screen in the front, for example, I'm going to have less access to the dash so it's much easier to work without the rear screens in and uh, really just putting the screens in is just a couple of hours work so <clears throat> not there's not a whole lot I can do right now I can't put a radiator in because we don't have one uh, both radiators are cracked um, uh, one's just split wide open uh, for one car so I can't put the radiator in and because I can't put the radiator in because I don't have one yet I can't put the grills on the front so, and I can't put the lights in because they go in after the radiator has been put in. Uh, also, at some point, I've still got to figure out how we're going to get this air conditioning working, but I need the car running before I can work on the air conditioning. I need everything assembled so I can see placement, where the uh, condenser is going to go, where the piping is going to go and stuff like that. So I need everything in the car before I can do that. So what has what can be done has been done. Obviously, we've got the wheels and the new tires, and they've been um, reconditioned, and they're all over here. 
just waiting to be bolted onto the car basically uh, so that's that I have done just a couple of um, cosmetic things so I've put the the trims on both sides of the the car on the doors and the the front and rear quarters uh, I've got these trims on the trim that goes in the bottom I have to have uh, special clips that hold these in again not available through BMW have to be sourced elsewhere I think Mark finally found something toward the end of last week uh, I think they're on the list of things to be ordered so a lot of the things oh yeah and these um, these uh, rubbers for these windows extremely expensive um, we're trying to find an alternative uh, source for those um, yeah so those windows can't go in until those rubbers are here so as you can see a lot of things are being held up by parts and waiting for parts really trying to get a move on those uh, as I said most of these parts actually basically all of these parts are not available through BMW they're all going to have to be sourced some of them might be used so there are questions about their quality some of them might have to come from um, kind of opaque sources so not really not really sure of the quality and there's going to be a a lot of questioning, a lot of to and fro questioning between these sellers to try and ascertain the quality of these components before we go to the cost of um, purchasing them and having them shipped over. Lots and lots of individual components hopefully can be consolidated maybe in the States um, and then have them sent over in one go, but uh, there's a lot of work, hundreds of components from all different sources that Mark has is presently working on um, and this is going to take some time so I hope you understand why there's not a whole lot of progress going on right now with the car um, really appreciate your patience and we're trying as best we can to have these parts sent to us so that I can start putting them back together so that's where we are at the moment and um, yeah I'll give you another update as soon as we have some some uh, progress.